In this video, let's talk about whether you should get event insurance, a very important and very seldom talked about point. This video is brought to you by Abi Pies Academy. Should you do it? Well, even before we get there, let's talk about should you run your event as a business entity, a LLC, an S Corp, C Corp, whatever, or as self. Here's the difference. If you run your business as self, you get to save yourself a lot of headaches. You don't have to register your business. You don't have to like pay different taxes, all that stuff. The problem is if somebody ever sues you, they're suing you for your personal money and possessions. Whether that's, and that's compared to if somebody, if you have an LLC, limited liability company, or S Corp or C Corp, all of them, they give you liability protection, which means that if somebody sues you, they're not suing you personally. They cannot take your house. They cannot take your car. They cannot take the clothes from your children's back. They can only sue you your business, okay? If you run the events from your business, they can only sue your business. The worst that can happen is the business will close, but your livelihood will stay intact. So it's important. that's the important consideration. Now, there's different kinds of insurance, liability insurance, property damage insurance, all kinds of things. But should you get them? Okay, there, there's, the problem is that there is no right or wrong answer because there is risk in specific situations. So you're always going to lose money by paying for insurance. That's one thing. But is if you have, for example, an outdoor like rock climbing events or if your events are like sports events, there's going to be a ton of injuries. Okay, it's inevitable. It's only a matter of time with those sorts of activities. So it's much more likely that you should get liability insurance. Now. If you have basically events that are just lectures, nobody gets hurt at lectures, okay? I've never seen anybody get injured at a lecture my whole life, never heard of it. Happens sometimes probably, but the chance of that is so small that you can, you can probably assume it's not going to happen. In which case, the decision to get the insurance is probably a, you know less of a decision, right? You're probably not going to, whereas some things where people get injured, you definitely want to, right? Get insurance. So that's something you can do. Now, even if you have insurance or not, another thing you can do is sign, have people sign waivers. There's two instances, there's two instances where you can have people sign waivers. One is in case they are signing up for some kind of a carpool to your events, okay? Maybe you got some weirdo and another weirdo, they get into a fight in the carpool, one of them kills the other one. Okay, and they're like, well, it's part of your event. Okay, we're going to your event. We met through your, we're suing you. So you have to sign, people have to sign waivers even, even before they get to um, the carpool. And there was a very famous case with the Sierra Club, which is like a hiking club. And where they were, you know, carpool is a popular thing with hiking because you're driving somewhere far, but there were some problems and they started having to uh, do the waiver thing with people. And then of course, if the event is something physical, you want to make people sign the waiver before the event starts. So the waiver is for the carpool and the waiver is for the event itself. 